Well, we're back uh, right here on Hala Kuwait, and I hope everyone out there is enjoying their evening. Right now, we have with us right here in the studio, Dr. Ghanim Al-Faleh, and she is a clinical dietitian at Desman Diabetes Institute, which was founded by the Kuwait Foundation for the Advancement of Sciences, KFAS. Uh, Dr. Ghanim, welcome to our program, Hala Kuwait. Thank you, Ta'ir. Thank you for your having me in the Nice show. to have you with us uh, this evening. And uh, let's talk, uh, first off, talk to us a little bit about the latest diet trends and uh, what is good and what should we avoid, doctor? Okay. Uh, every now and then we are hearing about a new diet plan that are spreading in the social media. Everyone wants to follow it. Some of them are healthy diets, but others are not. It may influence your health. It may influence your eating habit and can lead to other health consequences. Uh, so it's very important that we know the source of the diet, where it comes from, and is there enough research have been done on these diets. Uh, one of these diets are intermittent fasting that have been spreading very fast. In Tell the us what is that and uh, is it beneficial? Tell us a little bit about it, please. Yes. Intermittent fasting is a type of eating pattern that you restrict the timing of the eating instead of the type of the eating, which we usually do. Uh, what's special about this diet plan that is very flexible, uh, the eating hours is can be between 6 to 10 hours and you can fast between 12 to 18 hours. Is that safe, doctor, to go 12 to 8 hours fasting like that yeah, on a regular not, basis? Yes, it's not that long because you will count with it the sleeping hours. Okay. Yeah. So when you do that, the idea from it is that we use all the stored glucose in your body, which is the main source of energy. And we uh, go to using the fat, which is the, the idea that you want to use to lose the fat around the abdomen and uh, help the body uh, to feel better and uh, more healthier. So tell us please, Dr. Ghanima, the benefits of intermittent fasting, please. Okay. Intermittent fasting had been researched for more than 25 uh, years and it has shown not only to lose weight but also to lose the fat and that will lead you to have a healthier uh, Body, which will reduce the uh, chronic diseases such as diabetes, uh, hypertension, it will reduce your uh, blood uh, cholesterol levels. It also can help you with attention and reduce inflammation in the body. Okay. So it has so many health benefits that you can use more than losing the weight. Okay, so what to be limited in this? Tell us more about uh, this, the intermittent fasting. What should a person do? What hours are ideal so they can lose the optimal? amount of weight please okay uh, although this diet focus uh, on the timing of the uh, eating we also recommend that you focus on the type of the food also that you are eating you have the timing between six to ten hours of eating focus on nutrition dense food like fruit and vegetables whole grains legumes uh, low uh, lean proteins and low fat dairy products we want to eliminate uh, fast food, uh, we want to eliminate uh, processed food, uh, sweet and sugary beverages, which can uh, uh, emphasize, we want to emphasize that uh, that can lead to uh, reaching your goals, which is uh, helping you losing the weight and uh, uh, controlling your uh, diabetes or your blood pressure. And uh, can you lose a good amount of weight doing intermittent fasting, Dr. Ghanima? I know a lot of people, yes. they want to lose weight, you know? Yes, and it's very easy. It depends from one person to another uh -huh. uh, and what kind of food you choose, the activities that you do, uh, how you spend your day, your age, and so many uh, different uh, things that can uh, limit how much weight you will lose or not. Okay, so remind us once again, you just touched on it earlier, what kind of food should we consume when we break our fast? Because some people, they're so starving and hungry, and they want to break it, and then let's say with a, a mountain of rice or something like that, which yeah. is no benefit then to your intermittent fasting, correct? Correct, yes. So what should they do so slowly everything works well? It's very important to start with vegetables. Okay. Always start your meal with some vegetables, salads, uh, soups, steamed vegetables. Then go to your lean protein and leave the carb at the end. This consequence of uh, food will help you reach your goal make you feel full uh, faster and will limit how much calories you will consume. Uh, uh, as we say also, we want to focus on uh, fruit and vegetables, whole grains, limit the white rice and the white bread, choose uh, other healthy options like uh, 
uh, brown bread, brown pasta, brown rice, which will be uh, better for your choices. I know Dr. Ghanima yourself and your colleagues at uh, Desman Diabetes Institute, which was uh, founded by the Kuwait Foundation for the Advancement of Sciences, KFAS, are yes. really doing an amazing job, giving a lot of great dietary advice to the patients about different things in order so they can control the different health conditions that they may have, Dr. Ghanima. Yes, uh, KFAS has initiated Desman Diabetes Institute, which is one of the biggest uh, uh, diabetes center in the Middle East and we are serving uh, the community here and doing the research which is an amazing place to work with. Well you're doing a great job you and your colleagues. Now Dr. Ghanima, how to start with intermittent fasting? Should you do it gradually and then build up the hours or tell us more if someone's watching right now and they want to start? Okay, uh, to start with intermittent fasting you can choose between 14 to uh, 18 hours of uh, fasting. Uh, depending on your day, you can choose that timing and include the sleeping time in this period. Uh, unfortunately, lately I'm seeing some people that are doing 24-hour fasting, which is not healthy for your body. It can lead to other health consequences. It can lead your body to, to be in starvation mood, which will uh, end up uh, preventing your body from losing the fat. You will Especially be if you have diabetes, you can go into some very severe conditions. Yes, it can lead to other health consequences, hypoglycemia, and... Uh, uh, we, want, we don't want to do that. We want to lose the fat, not to lose the muscles also. So now intermittent fasting, let's say you had the night's sleep, let's say seven hours. Yes. And then maybe you want to start with 14 hours, as you said. Mm -hmm. When you get up, does that mean you cannot have water or coffee or tea and then continue or is that allowed? Anything with zero calories is allowed during fast, fasting hours. Uh, we prefer that you drink plenty of water. You can drink uh, black coffee, uh, herbal teas, uh, any other kind of tea, as long as you don't add milk or sugar to your uh, drink. Okay, very well said. So, uh, Dr. Ghanima, who shouldn't do intermittent fasting? Uh, like uh, the other diets, there is a specific people who shouldn't follow a uh, different kind of diets. We don't recommend this kind of diet uh, for pregnant or lactating women. If you have uh, uh, some heart diseases or kidney diseases, if you are uh, under control, uh, uncontrolled uh, diabetes or uh, having recurrent hypoglycemia, uh, or if you have eating disorder, we don't recommend uh, people to follow this uh, diet. And is there a certain age where people can, cannot start or where we can start intermittent fasting? Anything you'd like to... Elaborate on that, please. Uh, after the age of 18, they can start intermittent fasting. Below that, we don't re recommend to put children under the stress of dieting. It's uh, usually the lifestyle that they should follow. We encourage them to do physical activities, limit the sugar that they consume, make their eating plan more healthier, uh, avoid the fast food, the chicken nuggets, and other kind of fried. Uh, we don't want to put them in a restricted a timing plan, usually they have school, they need to focus on studying. Therefore, we don't want this kind of diet to be for children under the age of 18. So let's say someone now started with intermittent fasting for about a month. Mm -hmm. What's the average amount of weight that they could lose? I'm sure that's a question that's being asked by my producers and the team to ask. So what, what can be done with that? Yeah. Uh, usually people want to lose weight quick. Yeah. Uh, this is not recommended because you will know that you are losing muscle. Mm -hmm. You're not losing the fat. What we recommend is half to one kilo a week, which will be between two to four kilos a month. And that will make sure that you are not losing uh, the muscles. You are losing the fat, which is the recommended thing to have because you don't want only to lose weight. You want to maintain the weight that you lost. Okay, so that's the average, about three to four. Yes, doing two this. to four, yes. Two to four, two okay. Two to four, yes. And well, look for it go in ahead. the long run. Yeah. What's that? Look for it in the long run okay. because you want to maintain the weight that you lost, not just to lose the weight. So if you follow intermittent fasting in a very correct way over mm -hmm. a six month period, you can lose a good amount of weight. Then. Yes. Okay, and you've and seen you results maintain. of that. Yes, we've seen a lot of uh, Tell patients us about in that. this Man Diabetes Institute following uh, the intermittent fasting, and uh, we're still seeing the result and following up with them every uh, two weeks, and we're still seeing the result of losing weight and maintaining the weight, which is most 
importantly and it's easy to follow there's no much restriction the only thing if you are uh, social eating then you will may have some problems that you and that's cannot a problem eat. in Kuwait we have a lot of <laughs> yes. social eating a lot of nice restaurants to go to yes but you can manage your time when to go to the restaurant and eat so you can manage that if you want to you can that's do true. that that's true uh, well dr ghanima it's a pleasure to have you on our program hella kuwait do you have any last bit of advice uh, words or comments for the audience watching right now uh, we're getting you know towards uh, Aug we're in the middle of august uh, school will be starting soon yeah. and everyone wants to always look their best for a brand new school year academic year and everything what advice do you have for the audience all right uh, for the, the new of the academic year Please make sure that you first take care of how you eat before uh, taking care of the children, how they are eating, because they will look after you. You have to you lead by example. Yes, you need to be an idol for them. And uh, for the diet that are spreading everywhere in the internet, please make sure what the diet came from. Uh, talk to your healthcare provider, follow up with a dietitian to make sure that you can reach your goal at the same time, maintain your health and maintain the result that you are aiming for. Very well said, and it was a pleasure to have you on our program, Hala Kuwait, Dr. Pleasure Ghanima. Pleasure is mine. Thank, thank you, you so doctor. much. Thank you. We'd like to thank our distinguished guest, Dr. Ghanima Al-Falih, who is a clinical dietitian at Dasman Diabetes Institute.